I'm gonna walk you through replacing and adjusting the Truvy openers on a ME5 row unit. For these purposes, I already removed our gauge wheels. Once you get your gauge wheels removed, go ahead and remove your scrapers. The newer ME5 row units utilize a spring plate and a bolt to hold the scrapers in place where your older row units had a spring that connected the two of them. So remove the bolt, get the scraper off. After you get the scraper off, remove your nut, retaining nut for your Truvy. When you pull your Truvy off, make sure you don't have any extra washers stuck to the back of the bearing. If you do, peel them off, or if they fall off, pick them up and slide them back on the shaft. Sometimes, if somebody had been in there before and adjusted the Truvies, they'll take the extra washers that weren't used and put them here on the inside. So if that's the case, make sure you don't have any washers on the inside. You shouldn't really ever have any washers on the, on the outside of the bearing. It should just be the nut and the bearing. So after you remove both the Truvies, make sure your washers are there. We'll go ahead and install our new ones. But before you install the new ones, you're gonna want to go ahead and look at your seed tube guard, your frog, and make sure it's in good condition and that the wear points, you can still see the wear points, and that it's not overly worn. If that is overly worn, what it can cause is, as the blades deflect in, the blades can rub onto the seed tube or the brush belt and damage the brush belt. Also, this acts as a scraper on the inside of the blades. So if it is too far worn and you get into some stickier soils, you're gonna get some dirt buildup and hanging on the inside of the blade itself. So inspect that. One thing to note that if you are replacing them, your blades with the new heavy duty John Deere blades, it does require a different seed tube or brush belt guard. This one here is the updated one. As you can see that there is a little indention cut out in the guard itself. And the reason for that is with the new blades, we are utilizing a larger diameter rivet. With that larger diameter rivet, we need a little more clearance when that turns. If you fail to put the wrong, the, the updated guard on, after you get your blades tightened up, you're not gonna be able to turn them because the rivets will be binding with the frog. So let's go ahead and put them on. Start out with the shim pack that was in it. In this instant, we're probably not gonna end up having to add or remove shims. Uh, the blades that we took off of this for demonstration purposes really weren't worn. So slide the blades on. After you get your blades on, go ahead and install the retaining nuts and torque the spec. Now, when you install your blades, keep in mind that one of them is a left-handed thread and one is a right-handed thread. When I'm tightening them, a good thing that makes me remember which way to turn them is tighten them the direction of rotation. So if this blade, for example, the left blade is going to be turning counterclockwise, so tighten that counterclockwise where the right hand blade is gonna basically be the opposite. After you get them snugged, a good test is the business card test. So in the crack of the Truvy, 
insert a business card on the front, then go through, insert a business card on the rear, and when you bring them together, you should basically have a width of a third business card in between them. If that gap is too big, that means you have, don't have enough shims in and you need to add more. If you don't have enough shims in and that is pushing too hard on it, what that can do is that cause it creates a lot of side deflection on the blades, which can in turn lead to premature bearing failure. If you don't have them shimmed correctly and your business cards are coming close together, or if there's a gap all the way through it, what that's gonna do then is when the planter's planting, you're not gonna have that perfect V seed trench. It's gonna be more of a W. So then now when you drop that seed, if you have your seed set at two and a half, two inches, whatever have you, that seed now isn't gonna be quite to that depth because now there's a little hump in the bottom of that seed trench. So it is key to go through and check them. Even if your blades are in spec, it's not a bad idea before you start planning to go through and do a business card check on all of them and just make sure they're in spec. If they aren't in spec, you might need to pop a gauge wheels off and remove a shim. It's a good idea if you are removing shims that if you do it on one side, do it on the other because you don't wanna have one blade too far in than the other. When that happens, the Vs aren't gonna meet, meet up the way they should be and they'll be kind of off center a little bit. So make sure you're doing it, what you do on one side, you do on the other side as well.